Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna start a very exciting little makeover and it's gonna be of one side of our living room. If you saw, I don't think it'll be my last video, maybe a few videos ago, um, I was like kind of putting everything in place in the house and stuff like that, starting to decorate. And I felt like this side of the living room was looking pretty good, but um, that side, not so much. So this looks pretty much the same. <laughs> As when we first moved in i just threw a bunch of stuff on the shelves not even trying to decorate just more of like so it could hold things that i'm eventually going to use to decorate on this side there's like a bunch of boxes and just tools and whatnot so ignore that but if you guys remember in a previous video this was the vision <laughs> to paint these bookshelves to um, maybe match the wall or something similar use like some trim or something to make them look built in, put a fireplace in the middle, hang up the TV, and yeah, just have a little kind of built-in look situation. So let's get started. Our fireplace has arrived. I am so excited. You can kind of see a little bit there what it looks like, but yeah, we're gonna put this together. Hopefully it's not too difficult. And then let's see how it looks. That's um, a lot of parts. I'm probably gonna be here a while. I'm actually out of breath just from pulling everything out of the box. Everything is so heavy, especially this. This is the electric fireplace insert. And it's a pretty wide one because I wanted a wide fireplace since our TV is pretty big. I feel like it would look weird if the fireplace was like um, narrower. So, all right, let's do this. The fireplace is complete and I am so happy with it. I already tested it, it works. It's unplugged right now though. Um, but yeah, it actually took me two days to put together because I did kind of take my time. The first day I just kind of laid out all the parts and like put all the little wooden dowels with like the wood glue and like these little like, what is it, like cam bolt thingies. Got everything ready. And then yesterday I actually assembled everything which actually did not take very long. It's just very heavy, especially this like insert super duper heavy um so i had caleb help me with that but yeah i'm really happy with it um i tested the flame it looks pretty good it also like right here hot air comes out so if you like turn on the heater part then the flames actually feel like you know they're letting out heat which is cool and it's off to the side right now because obviously we have a tv stand here so i am going to take the tv down slide this out not really sure what i'm doing with that yet i do really like it but i don't think i have another place in the house for it so i might just sell it Ta -da! <laughs> look at the flames ah oh, that's so cozy i love it i am thinking of building out um like a hearth like over here that would be basically the depth of these shelves and that would raise the fireplace just a little bit so i feel like it's on the shorter side. Okay, I went ahead and mounted the TV. I think that's a good height because since I am gonna be raising this a little bit, then it'll be like kind of like right there, which will leave like that much space, which is kind of the same there, so. I don't know, but obviously I don't want these cords showing. So I wanted to mount to just make sure I like the height, all of that and figure out the placement, but I'm actually gonna take it down again because I wanna cut a hole into the drywall to put the cables and have it come out the bottom and straight into the plug. So yeah, that's what I gotta do. But I need a, um, what's it called? Oh, a jigsaw I think for that, or maybe I have something. I don't know, I have to see. Maybe I'll have to borrow one from my dad. So I have an idea. <laughs> I have been thinking a lot about whether I actually wanna paint the whole bookshelf white, like the wall. I feel like it might be too much white, especially now with like the white fireplace. So I've been like going back and forth on what to do. And I maybe still will paint like the actual frame white. That part I'm still not sure about, but I'm gonna try to do something to the shelves. So. As you can see, the wood is very red. It's almost like a cherry wood. And so I'm gonna attempt to strip this stain. 
I don't know how well that's gonna work. Um, I got some oven cleaner because I've seen that method being used many times and it seems to work pretty well. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna spray just one shelf for now. Um, I think you wait like 20 minutes and then like try to scrape it off. If I can get this to be a lighter wood, I think it would actually look very pretty to have the shelves white or like the bookcase white and then like the shelves still be wooden, but like a lighter wood that would go with like the rest of the wood that I have going on in the house. So let's go try it. This is what I'm using. I don't really know how much I have to spray. I'm just gonna saturate it quite a bit, I guess. Now we wait. <laughs> so I got kind of um, distracted because I'm doing another project at the same time. So it's actually been like 40 minutes. I don't think that should matter. I think you just need to leave it at least 20 minutes. But anyway, so I'm going to start scraping. Um, just use this. Dang it. I got the wrong side glove. This is for my left hand. So I guess I'm going to be doing this left handed. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can get out of it. The stain is definitely coming off. Like, can you see the difference? This is actually like very satisfying. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. There are some spots that seem to be a little harder for some reason. So I don't know if I'll have to go in with like another round of it or maybe just sand it a little bit after. But like, look at all that. Also, if the audio kind of sucks it's because of the water there you know it's kind of loud also oliver's eating grass <laughs> all right i'll get back to working on this so i've actually just um learned something interesting about these shelves hold on so i decided to go in on this side with my sander and it did help a little bit it is a bit lighter as you can see but I was like, well, what if I just go straight with the sander on the other side that I hadn't done anything to yet? Because maybe I could skip the whole like scraping step. And look at this. I only did it a little bit right here because I wanted you guys to see the difference. But that's so much better. And I don't know if it has anything to do with like it being the bottom. Maybe it's not the same exact material or something as the top. I am not sure. But, I think I'm just going to stick to just sanding. I feel like I'm going to get a much better result. So, and it's going to be a lot quicker. And I think this is going to be a light enough base for us to go over with the stain. Probably something to take a little bit of the yellowness out. Maybe I'll have to get something that's slightly gray in order for that to happen. I'm not sure. I'll have to go look at some stain options. But, it's lighter. And that's what's important. <laughs> The next day and I've continued sanding. I just did this board and I just want to show you guys the difference. This is what it looks like if I just straight up sand it. This is the one where I stripped it twice then sanded it. I don't know if stripping it somehow made the stain like adhere more. I don't know but it's darker which is very odd to me. And then this is how it was which is just ugly. Very red. I actually do prefer this tone of wood. However, that would be a lot more work to have to strip each shelf twice and then sand it. So I'm just going for the easier route, which is just to straight up sand it. That's pretty simple, fast, you know, and then I can just stain these whatever color I want. All right, the uh, shelves are finally done. That actually took a really long time and my arms and my hands are actually pretty sore. Hey, Oliver. But I've made a decision. Let's go inside. So that decision is that I am going to paint all of this white and then just keep the shelves like the wooden color. And the reason for that 
is because I really want to put doors in the front. And I wasn't able to find any like pre-made doors that fit this. So I'm going to have to make them myself. Um, which means I'm probably going to get some plywood or something. And I'm, I just don't feel like the wood is going to match. So the safest option is to just paint everything. And I think it'll look nice. Like all white. But then like this will like bring in some color like in each shelf. I think it'll look cute. So I'm working on finishing up the bottom here and it just reminds me that something I didn't say is that I'm actually going to put off on putting the doors for now. I said I want to make some doors but I feel like that's going to be a lot of work and I'm trying to get this done so I can decorate for Christmas. <laughs> so for now I'm just going to paint everything, put in the wood shelves, maybe put like some baskets here to still like store things and then eventually I will work on some doors for over here. Another thing that eventually I'll do is put a piece of trim here because I don't really like this. You guys see how like it goes in? So I would like to eventually put trim around and make it connect to like the wall. But basically I think there'll be a part two to this video like next year after the holidays where I'll do that and try to build out like a hearth for the fireplace. But as I said, I'm trying to decorate for Christmas. I don't have a lot of time and I've been working on a lot of things. So that'll come in the future. Okay, I have finally finished priming the bookshelves. It took me two days for some reason. I don't know why it took so long. I guess just like getting in all the little, you know, grooves and whatever. Anyway, it's finally ready to be painted. I'm very excited. I did actually run out of primer on the second one. So like the inside of like the shelves, like in some areas, haven't, like I, I did primer twice on this one and then on that one, I didn't do primer twice everywhere. So I'm just going to probably have to do more coats of paint on those. But that's fine because I still have like half a gallon, I think, of the same wall color, but in a satin finish instead of matte. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using. Also, I got some stain for the shelves. So let me show you that. Okay, so I'm like down here on the ground because I wanted to show you guys this door. Like, it's like this little sliding door barn door thing we have. I really like the wood tone of this. Like it's my favorite in the whole house. So I wanted to find something that was similar to that. So I actually pulled off the door and took it to Home Depot with me and like compared it to like all the swatches that they had. And this was the stain that I found that I feel like is going to be the most similar. It's early American. I've actually used the stain before and I really liked it. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be using to stain the shelves. So I think I'm just going to do like a coat of paint on the bookshelves and while that's drying we will stain the shelves. I love how my hair bleaching shirt has now become <laughs> my painting shirt as well. So before I get started on painting I'm actually gonna go in with an extra fine sandpaper and just sand it down a little bit because that'll give us like the best finish. Make sure there's like no texture. So I'm gonna do this then I'm gonna wipe it down and then we'll actually start painting. I'm not really sure what the last thing was that I filmed. I've kind of lost track of time because these bookshelves took so long for me to like finish painting them because they were just like soaking up the primer, the paint. I ended up doing two coats of primer, two coats of paint. Some areas I even feel like I had to do a little bit more paint. I don't know, but they are finally done. I still need to remove the the blue tape that I put over like, it has like a little brass thing where you can like adjust the shelves. And I could have painted that white as well, but I kind of like the brass detail. 
because when I put the doors eventually, I think I want to do like brass knobs. So I just left it because I also think that if I painted it, it would be hard to like, it would cover up the little holes that you use to like adjust it. Anyway, so now that these are finally, finally done, I am going to get started on staining the shelves. And also I want to do the like little cutout and the drywall for the wires. And then I think I'm good to just start styling the bookshelves and the mantle. I kind of started already a little bit. I got a little impatient, but yeah, that, that, that's what I'm doing next. There are some spots like how here there's like this little gap where eventually I would like to fill that in because I think it'll just make it look nicer because some places like up top, the paint kind of filled that in. But here it's just, I don't know. So eventually, like I said, when I come back to do the, the doors and stuff, I think that's when I'll do that. But for now, it's fine the way it is. Okay, I have all my shelves out here ready to be stained. Also, it's windy, so the wind chimes are going off. But this is my darker one. So I'm actually going to stain this one first and see how similar it is. Because if it's pretty similar, then I won't even bother staining this one. Because I am scared that, like, layering the stain on top of this is just going to make it, like, extremely dark. I don't know. So let's start with that one and see how it looks. Okay, so first impression is that it's not as dark as I thought it would be, and it's a little warmer than I thought it would be. Like, if you see the color here, it's not that warm, but I guess it's just because the original wood here is very yellow. So I don't know, we'll see. If anything, we maybe go in with a second coat after it dries. I just went ahead and did the backs now um, before I try doing a second coat, but I want to show you guys this. This was the stick that I used to stir the stain. This is what I thought it was going to look like. Do you see the difference? So I guess it really is just because of the type of wood, but I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to try to trust the process. <laughs> I don't know. I think it'll be fine. We'll see. I made the first hole up here for the cables. Um, I thought my dad was lending me a jigsaw. This is a lot bigger, so it's a little intense, but we got it. And now I'm going to try to make the one at the bottom at the same level. They're not looking as, like, you know, perfect <laughs> as I was hoping for, but I am going to put a little, it's kind of like an outlet cover that you put on it, and then it just allows the cables to go through. So I'll get that eventually, but yeah, I'm just going to try to throw the cables in now. Also, I need to vacuum up this mess. I will ruin them. So it's the next day and I left these out here for the stain like to completely dry. And now it's time to put them on the shelf. I'm very excited to see how it looks. This one is still different than the rest on this side. Oh, excuse my nails. <laughs> these two have come off of my nail but Anyway, so I'm gonna put this all the way on top. I think like on the right side where you don't see it as much. And because it'll be like high up, you won't see the top part, and then you'll only see the bottom, which I don't know if you can see, but it's the same color as everything else. I think that'll be fine. If not, eventually I'll do some new shelves. I don't know. I actually think the wood looks so good with the white. Um, I'm not sure about the spacing. I kind of just eyeballed it and I did it to where it was like bigger and it gets like smaller. But I don't know if I like that. That's actually how it was originally. But I guess it wasn't as obvious because everything was the same color. But now I feel like it might look a little weird. I'm not sure. So maybe I'll try doing it like where they're spaced evenly. Okay, I think this spacing is better. Like it still gets slightly smaller as it goes up but it's like a little more even. I don't know, I think I like that. If you're wondering about the hole, they both have them, which I guess is to run any like wires, like cables, if you wanna put something that needs power, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything like that, but I could always just put something on the side that will cover it. So I guess now I have to start styling, which I've been nervous about, because I don't know if I actually have enough stuff. 
So this is pretty much what I'm working with. I have a lot of baskets, but it might be too many baskets. I feel like I don't have enough to like kind of balance it out. I have a couple of books. Hmm. Actually, I do have some more books over there that I need to grab. And yeah, I got a little plant. I don't know. We'll, we'll you know, work with this. And if anything, I could just add to it slowly as time goes by. But I've just never had so many shelves to style. So I don't have enough stuff. <laughs> stuff to kind of fill the spaces for now. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I was thinking maybe I could put a blanket like in that basket. I don't know. Like obviously it's not ideal to have these open, but for now, I think this will do. By the way, I don't think I ever showed you guys what I actually ended up putting on the mantle. Again, I don't know if this is staying like this, but I had this uh, brass candlestick, candle holder, and I felt like it needed a buddy. <laughs> so when I went to an antique shop recently with my friend, I picked up this one because I wanted one that was like slightly taller. Because I have two of these, but I felt like if they were both the same height, it would look weird. And then I have these really cool like LED tapered candles, which I'll show you in a bit. But they, I feel like they look pretty realistic, like they flicker and stuff. And then over on this side, I thrifted this. Actually, I thrifted both of these, but this one's more recent. And I'm not sure what I want to put in them yet. I had this before in here because it's kind of like my little go-to fall thing. And then I just thrifted like a little bunch of like these. And I don't know. I don't know. Whoops, I just messed it up. I don't know if I like I don't know. I feel like I don't really like it. But I'll have to think about what I want to put here. Okay, so two exciting things. One, we ripped out the ceiling fan. <laughs> It was bothering me because it's ugly. I don't like fans and it's not centered in the living room. So it just like looked weird and it was kind of blocking the view here. So we were gonna patch that up, but I think we decided to just put a little can light instead, like a little recess lighting. So I think that'd be nice. So whenever we want some extra light here, we don't really need it because that one lights up this whole area. But if we ever want more light, then we could turn that one on. Also, the second exciting thing is I ordered some chairs to go right there. I gave up on trying, I don't know if I even mentioned it that I wanted to like fix up some old chairs I had, but they were falling apart. So I found a good deal for two new ones and I'm very excited to put them together. Guys, this chair. <laughs> looks so good i'm so happy with it i was a little nervous about the cushion color and the wood color but it's perfect i love this there's like some texture i don't know if you guys can see it it also comes with a little lumbar pillow which is nice and the wood is perfect like look at this wood look at that wood so good now i need to build the other one and then i think we're done i can show you guys how everything looks also i want to point out that these are like the perfect height like this is exactly what i wanted they're pretty low to the ground i don't know if you can see that but that way it won't really block the view like when you walk in. So they're perfect. Okay, so I think the living room is done for now. Um, I want you guys to keep in mind as you see the clips of everything together that there are still things, like I said, that I'm gonna be doing probably like after the holidays next year, um, like putting some trim on the bookshelves, just like touching them up in little places, um, building the hearth, um, because I know right now the fireplace is too low like the gap between the fireplace and the TV is like too big So we're gonna raise that what else? I'll also be cutting the baseboard and pushing everything up against the wall So it has that more built-in look. Oh, yeah, and of course the doors I'm gonna be building those eventually which I think will actually look really good um, But yeah for now, I do think it still looks really nice um, Even though it's not like the finished product, but I'm happy with it. So without further ado Let's see how it all looks together.
hope you guys enjoyed how the living room turned out. As I said before, I am very happy with it. And I'm the one who lives here, so I guess that's all that matters. And Caleb really likes it as well. I just think it feels very cozy and calm, and I feel like that's always what I want in a space. So, mission accomplished. Also, I will try to link as much as I can down in the description. Um, a lot of these things I did thrift, like especially like the decor on the shelves and stuff. But anything that I can link, I will link for you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you guys are excited to see, you know, I guess the part two that will come out next year of when I truly finish the space. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!